Hey guys, it's Dr. Reyes. I broke down this video into two sections. First section is going to talk about the five points in the face. Second part is going to talk about how you can manipulate those points to get different head shapes. Okay, go ahead and subscribe right there. Today we're going to talk about the five points in the face using home plate as an example. This is a technique I learned from Mr. Brian Morante. Okay, first let me go ahead and turn this off and let's place a skull directly underneath. So the five major points that we have on the lower part of the face are, let me see if I can get this together and then it's going to be the first cheekbone, the jaw, chin, the jaw again, and then the other cheekbone. That's a total of five points. In between these two points, we have the eye line. This is roughly where you would place your eyes. If we move on, we can connect those points to get the lower part of the face. Okay, so th these main points are points that you can manipulate in order to get a caricature. And from this point, we can go ahead and either draw the outside hairline or we can draw the inside hairline. So that, that would be the outside and then this would be the inside hairline. Okay, let's go ahead and move on and further explore this theory of five points on the face. Okay, so now let's take a look how you can manipulate those points to get different head shapes. Okay, so the first one that I have here is a square shape. So let me go ahead and draw those points for the cheekbone, jaw, the chin, the jaw again, and then the cheekbone. Okay, now if we compare the square shape versus the rectangle shape, we can see that the distance between points are further away for the rectangle shape. So see how this one, uh, these points are a lot further away from each other to get that rectangle shape versus the square shape. Just like a square, everything is almost very evenly apart from each other. Let me go ahead and complete that. And then if we take a look at the triangle shape, we see that the cheekbone points are getting pushed further apart from each other to get that shape. So let's get cheekbones and then the jaw is going to be kind of high up on both sides. We have the cheekbone and then we have the jaw and then we have the chin. And then for the peanut shape, which can also be a hair shape depending how small or how big your cranium is. In this one, uh, we have a peanut shape. Okay, so we have the cheekbone, we have the jaw that is coming out, outward. We have the chin, jaw again, and then we have the cheekbone. Okay, so now that we've established how just by manipulating these points, we can get different head shapes. Uh, let's go ahead and actually see some head shapes. Okay, let me turn off those points and then go ahead and turn on the square shape. Okay, and then let me lower the opacity on the skull. And once again, we have evenly spaced out points for, for this guy. And turn that on. Let me erase this. You can see how you have cheekbone, jaw, chin, cheekbone, jaw, roughly more or less. Alright, so let's go on to the rectangle shapes. So rectangle shape, and then we have the triangle shape, and then we have the peanut shape. And just by manipulating those points, we were able to get different head shapes. And I was able to draw directly on top 
to get different different faces. So let me go ahead and turn off the skulls. That turned off, and then we have this one turned off, and then we have this one turned off. Okay, so we have a square, rectangle, triangle, and peanut. And you don't always have to draw so straight on that you don't have to be so literal and actually draw like a triangle or a, a square. This is just like a starting point just to kind of introduce all of you guys that want to learn how to draw caricatures or just want to be able to know what it is that you're actually manipulating. You're not just creating these random head shapes. You can create these random head shapes, but you still want to think about what is directly underneath and what's directly underneath is the skull or the or you can call it the, the cranium and jaw and as you manipulate those points uh, you're going to get a different head shape so let's take a look at different ways of drawing uh, these different shapes so a square shape can also look something like this and then for the rectangle, you can also draw it so it looks something like that. And then the triangle shape, you can also draw it so it looks something like this. And the only difference is that um, I drew these a little bit. Of, I don't want to say three quarter. It's slight. This is a slight three quarter, and I also gave it a little bit of a tilt to the left side. And just to kind of give it a little bit more life, and so it's not so static and stiff. And this is almost like a style that I would actually draw in a live setting. So this is on one of those three, three to five minute drawings. Actually, it's more like a three minute since there's no shading. Uh, and let me see. Let me just take a look at the peanut shape. So the peanut shape, you can turn this off, and I can show you the peanut shape. And just tilting it a little bit to the left and just giving it that slight, not three quarter, but kind of like two thirds sort of look. Hey, Hugh. Yeah, you. Did you enjoy the video? Because if you did, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, make sure that you leave your comments directly below. And make sure that you look out for that one video that wasn't able to be put in this video. Okay, and go ahead and subscribe right there, guys.